that because I know how painful it could be actually just waiting for those damn games to start eventually. But we finally do have a match right now, and uh, first person view right there, a little bit of a self plug. Um, starting over here at the top right side of the map, we have Captain Waffles. Uh, he, of course, represents. <laughs> Uh, he of course represents uh, clan, it looks like, MMO Games, uh, North American Terran player. He's of course uh, starting off at the bottom right side of the map in the blue, representing actually, it looks like the native blue it is, for Axiom Gaming, it is Ryong. So I want to welcome you guys all in today. Uh, hopefully you have had a wonderful morning, a good Thursday to everybody. Today is, in fact, Red Bull Qualifiers, day number one. Three days total. Uh, this coming Sunday, of course, day number two. And then I think it's also August 31st, which is next Thursday. So seven days from now, we will have the third qualifier. I'm Cheesehead Logic. Of course, you guys can uh, follow me on Twitter at Cheesehead Logic. Or if you want, uh, you know, just check out the YouTube, everything like that. Uh, make sure just hype up the stream. Let everybody know we're getting started today with the first game of the day. And uh, this is actually game number two in the series, if I'm not mistaken. Ryung, probably I'm just assuming by the sheer thing of being re-young. I'm assuming he's up 1-0, but who knows, we can find out about that uh, as the game does progress. Both players, of course, starting on Deadwing LE with a gas opener. We do have Ryung, uh, of course, uh, just about to finish up his first barracks, and uh, we should maybe actually be seeing a factory out of him. Yeah, indeed, actually it was a gas first uh, from Ryung, so could be playing a little bit aggressive here. Again, um, with this large of a map, if, if you want to play aggressive, you do have to have a very mobile composition. Of course, Hellion's one of the most mobile units in the early stages of the game. Uh, meanwhile, we do have Captain Waffles kind of on the same plan, but I think he went gas after uh, 13 gas instead of 12, so. But we'll see. We're young, uh, of course, banking it up right now. Once his factory finishes up, he should be able to get that star port out. Um, just in case I don't get the chance to uh, broadcast uh, any of the Axiom players uh, later on as the day progresses. Um, well, uh, Axiom, I would say, hasn't had the best of best weeks. Um, unfortunately, uh, Crank falling out in day one of WCS Challenger, Ryung falling out in day two. Um, just, you know, it's kind of one of those things that just kind of happens, you know, bad week, it can be a little bit contagious, man, Lo losing. I don't want to say, like, lo like winning is a habit, I don't want to say like, losing is a habit, but um, it d that type of atmosphere is a little bit promoted. Um, when it happens consistently to teammates and whatnot. So, Ryung, though, about to finish up with a starport uh, coming out with Hellions. Hopefully, he'll be able to, of course, recover today. Today, of course, winner, of course, gets a paid flight, all expense, everything to the Red Bull qualifiers. The, um, I imagine it's in. De no, is it the one in Detroit they're giving to, or is it the final? I feel really bad. First, oh, first and second place. Uh, it's going to be the Global Grand Finals. Okay. Global Battleground Grand Finals in California. Santa Monica. I thought it was a try. I'm like, that, that doesn't make sense. I'm like, we wouldn't host three Global Qualifiers. <laughs> a bunch of players to Detroit. I'm like, that's why we had the NA Qualifiers for. Um, but th th this is pretty cool, though. You know, like, you can't complain. I, I, I absolutely love Red Bull. They're hooking it up. They've, they've been just doing wonderful things for esports this year, and uh, it's the only thing that you could hope for. Now, Ryang, he's got about three Hellions out on the map. We'll probably uh, maybe have some additional ones. No, it looks like a Viking is following it up, but three Hellions plus a Medivac full of Marines and an SCV. Should be very interesting to see how this comes out. Banshee's actually going to be very crucial because it might just fly over the path of that Medivac, and most likely we'll have to come back to help defend. If it does go across the map, there will be a Viking waiting for it. There we go, the Hellions do come in, they will score some, uh, the Marines that went to the low ground, SCV of course will get caught. Now here comes the drop of the Marines, we'll see how well uh, young Micros, he might have to lift up some of the units and um, looks like he's just going to lift over and he's going to start attacking the Banshee. Remember the cloak upgrade is not finished up and uh, Ryung can utilize the boost on those Medivacs to be able, uh, on the Medivac to actually catch up to the Viking if he wanted to, I mean sorry, the Banshee. Ryung starting to roll inside the main base and uh, at this point I would want to say it's probably game over um, just due to the fact that Ryung's already lifting up, he's microing, all SCVs are pulled, when SCVs are pulled they stack up really nicely and already the worker count down to 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Vikings like oh god, oh god, what did I come out to, oh my god, oh my god, 
And uh, yeah, it just actually falls down, man. Unfortunately, down to two workers, down to the final one. Ten coming out, but again, uh, <laughs> man, talk, talk about it. Talk about an uphill battle for Captain Waffles up here. If you uh, plans to try to stay in this game, and Ryung decides to go for that final SCV, focuses it down. No SCVs left. One is in production, but I mean, realistically, this game is practically over. We take a look back at Ryung's base, command center. Uh, already second one getting built on added on we have marines you could just rally across the map and what you need to do if his opponent plans to stay in the game i i appreciate the persistence i appreciate the persistence of captain waffles to never give up attitude but at this point this is th this is that like point where ima imagine yourself being in an mma fight you know you guys you guys have probably seen an, an, an mma fight you know like the mixed martial artists the guys like in the octagon if you guys have, if you guys don't watch fighting then is it you guys should it's pretty awesome i love it but th this is that point in time where somebody's put the guy into a submission, like put him in an arm lock, and like he's just he already, he already like broke the hand. He already like broke the hand, like in half, and he's just like yanking it, and like Ryung, like he, he's that fighter that's just wondering, like why hasn't he tapped out yet? So he just keeps yanking on the hand. The poor guy's just like just still sitting there trying to like fight out of it, like he can't even figure it out. Ryung, of course, uh, deciding to, I guess, utilize this opportunity to just kind of warm up and macro up a little bit. Again, that's actually one of those things that, um, you know, you don't really hear a lot of people talk about, like either casters, personalities, or players. But, you know, that, that one ladder game or those two ladder games sometimes do not suffice uh, in terms of good warm up. It's warm up, but it's not a good warm up. The atmosphere of uh, being in a tournament game itself, officially, you get that first best of three out of the way, is probably the best warm up you could get. You get some of those jitters out of the way. You get that feel that you actually just put something on the line, so it gets your body kind of mentally uh, ready for everything. Now, Captain Waffles dropping that command center, of course, we see he's still trying to work his way out of it, regain that worker count, but it's 38 to 8, 70 supply to 16. Um, Ryan could honestly just fly in and land all the Vikings <laughs> and just wipe absolutely everything. I mean, the, the only way like uh, something out of this is basically if just Ryan decided to sit back and wait for maybe you know 20 more minutes for his opponent to recover, get his upgrades, and try to at least max out. So tank, of course, uh, will be sieging up here on the high ground. Ryan, of course, should just go for the tank. Honestly, there we go. There he goes. Bada bing, bada boom, GG. So I'm assuming Ryung Young took that uh, second game right there. If that, that is the second game. I'm assuming he won the first game, so he'll be moving on 2-0 into the next series, round of 64. So good luck to him, and hopefully we'll see he we'll see more of him as the day goes on. All right, so.